Welcome back for another episode, everyone. So I've gone ahead, removed the front fenders already. Uh, next thing I actually have to take off is these doors. So I'm gonna remove the top and the bottom hardware. And we're gonna actually finish up prepping up the rest of the door jams here. So there's still a lot of sanding that I have to do in this area here. Also, I still have to hit up these doors on the very bottom. They do have uh, a couple minor spots with rust even over here in this area that I have to get prepped up properly before I go ahead and throw that epoxy primer on. So stay tuned for the episode, guys, and thanks for watching. So I completed doing the door jams, everything has come out nice there. Unfortunately, when I was taking apart the actual um, molding around the, around the windshield, I actually broke it. <gasps> I broke the windshield in two spots, one right here, nice hairline fracture that's quite long, and actually over there on the other side, that was the first spot that I broke over there. So, you know, I tried to save this windshield, but Clearly I did a poor job with that, so I gotta get this replaced, which is just gonna be an added cost to everything. You know, the idea was to get paint under here and nicely so it wasn't gonna chip off the edges like it has with uh, this hatch. You can see right here, um, the previous person who actually painted the car, you know, taped it, and this has come over time to expose, so. I'm not that this happened, but other than that, like, I got no choice to buy a new windshield, so I'll get that replaced. Another added cost, unfortunately, but, you know, you can't obviously pass the safety with a crack this long. Or the same thing on the other side, so... Anyways, uh, moving on from that, uh, this part has to actually be repaired as well. This is a... kind of where water pooled and caused some rust damage in here. Um, I'm thinking I'm just going to clean this out nicely, convert this, and then still prime and seal over this. Actually throw that like epoxy primer on there so it can cover it and then do body work over top of it. And I think it should actually stop that corrosion and rust from continuing and developing. Uh, the doors, they are there. They just need to be um, still that I need to take off these uh, molding pieces here so I can get some sanding underneath there and mask this door off. The hatch itself, I need to figure out to get uh, this trim piece off there so I can nicely get under there and fix up that black line from previous. Um, and then I'm going to start masking the car off. And uh, first I'm obviously going to give it a thorough wipe down a couple times until I don't get any dust on the cloth. And then I'm going to start back taping the doors, the hatch, and uh, kind of start getting this thing ready for some primer. So I'm going to keep on working at things. i got still a lot of cleaning up to do in here. Get this cleaned out, get that sanded in there, clean this up, and then we'll go from there. As I was sanding the 
the molding on the windshield. I uh, started looking at this a little more as I was sanding around it and I just noticed that the rust was too severe. So I actually had to cut this out. First I'm actually going to close this hole up so I'm going to do this and then I'm going to see if I can tackle this this evening. ahead on grinding this little piece to kind of fit in this spot still a little bit bigger than the hole but first I'm gonna grind a little bit more off these edges and I'm gonna weld a uh, bolt onto this so I can use it to kind of hold it in place so it doesn't fall through uh, with this section here I'm actually gonna go to the junkyard tomorrow and cut this out this is just gonna be too much work fabricating something off the top of my head with the materials that I have that I don't think it's gonna come out as nice unless I cut this out nicely and weld in a replacement piece that I'm gonna get off another existing Honda that I'll find. I'll just make sure that I don't damage anything when I'm cutting anything structurally in this area because there is some structural points here, but I think I can be uh, nice and controlled and make this nice and neat that I'll have a bead up here and a bead here that this will be repaired properly. I still have a little section here at the top that I have to grind out this is just barely sitting in there, but this will be perfectly flush once I just get a little bit of this top end uh, grinded off. So I'm gonna finish that and tack this in. And there we go, that thing is just perfect. So ended up welding that in. I actually laid it in there flat. I didn't actually round off that piece. Uh, tacked everything in, welded it down, and then grinded it down as well. And uh, pretty happy with the results so far. Uh, this little section here is gonna be quite the challenge tomorrow, but I'll manage to get that done. Uh, other than that, guys, that's probably gonna wrap up this episode. Still a couple of bodywork things to do, but nothing too long that it shouldn't really slow down the progress of getting primer on the car. The doors, jams, everything, other than that small section on the hatch right below the window where the molding is, that still needs to get sanded down. Other than that, things need to get a nice cleaning and then uh, masking and taping everything off and making sure I don't get any overspray inside the car. And I think I'll be ready for primer. So primer goal is for this weekend. Uh, hoping everything goes well. So I wanna thank you guys again for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.